GA4 is the biggest opportunity for freelancers in over a decade, possibly since the Y2K. And no matter what I do, I and no, I'm not talking about cheesy boy band videos. I'm talking about an opportunity to bring in more clients than you'd ever imagined. In this video, I want to explain how the GA4 migration opens a huge opportunity for freelancers like you. Because Google is shutting down Universal Analytics, and every website owner in the world will need to migrate over to Google Analytics 4 by next July. Now, if you're looking to become an analytics freelancer or provide a new service if you're already freelancing yourself, there's a massive opportunity knocking on your door, and that's where you come in. There's a gold rush for GA4 coming around that July deadline, and here's why. There are over 100 million websites using GA, and most of them don't really know that they're gonna be losing their data pretty soon. Now imagine the demand for GA4 experts when these 100 million website owners suddenly realize almost overnight that they need to do a proper GA4 install or they're gonna lose all their data. And they need to figure out how to do it correctly, basically overnight. Now they're gonna need a lot of help and they're gonna pay for it. And they might as well pay you, assuming that you have the expertise. But first, before you dive into this opportunity, let's explore the nuts and bolts of setting up a GA4 freelance business. And remember, it's a business model that requires the right approach. It's not something you can do on a whim because you need to understand carefully how the analytics works and how to navigate the market. And I can help you get started on the right way to think about it in this video. First of all, let's talk about what services are you gonna offer? There are many ways that you can serve your clients with your GA4 expertise. You can be fully hands-on with a done-for-you service that your clients outsource to you, or you can automate your GA4 services in a way that lets you scale. Or you can do something in between. It's not all black and white. There's a sliding scale between hands-on fulfillment and automation. For example, you can automate reports for your clients without much intervention at all. On the other hand of the spectrum, you can become a tagging and integrations expert to string multiple platforms together with GA4 using GA4 as the brain of the marketing machine. Now this would be a high ticket engagement with lots of hands-on and recurring work. And somewhere in the middle, it could be a GA4 account audit to make sure the system was installed and configured properly. And these audits can start off as a one-off project and then turn into recurring revenue over time. What you wanna do is you wanna explore the following, automation versus hands-on work, one-offs versus recurring, and what you actually enjoy doing. And you're gonna use this to find your sweet spot. Now, if you already have clients or knowledge about a particular industry, these are the opportunities for you to figure out what those clients need by asking them. And then you can tie that into your GA4 services that you offer. Now, once you're able to tie your services to what your clients need, selling becomes so much easier. Now, you'll also need to figure out how much your clients are willing to pay you for those kinds of services. For example, you could offer high ticket hands-on services to fewer clients, or lots of low ticket automated reporting services to as many clients as possible. And finally, it's important to enjoy what you do because if you don't enjoy it, then you don't have a sustainable freelance business on your hands. Okay, so let's recap this section. First, you wanna understand what your clients need. Second, you wanna figure out what your clients are willing to pay for. And third, you wanna be sure that you will enjoy doing these GA4 services. And when you can find overlap between these three things, that's a sweet spot for you. Now, once you find your sweet spot, you wanna test the market with it. Does this offer make sense to your clients? Are they willing to pay for it? Do you actually enjoy doing it? Does the business model work for you? Is it gonna be profitable? And do you see a future in it? And while I do see a high demand for GA4 consulting services, and I do think they'll be in demand for years to come, the question is whether you wanna do this long-term and is it sustainable for you to do it personally? Now, after testing the market, you might iterate your offer based on the feedback or lack thereof that you're getting from the market. The market will usually tell you whether your offer is working or not. And based on that, you might decide to niche down to a particular segment of an industry. You might also tweak your service structure and delivery process and adjust the pricing multiple times until you get it right. And that's perfectly okay and totally normal for a freelance business. It takes time to get it all dialed in. Okay, so are you ready to get started with your freelance business? Well, you can have the best plan in the world, but it won't matter unless you put it into action and you go to your market with it. Once you go to market, you'll see what your customers actually want. So are you ready to get started as a Google Analytics for freelancer? Well, I have good news for you. I've just started offering our new GA4 done for you agency blueprint course, 
where we can go from zero to 100 in developing all the GA4 expertise that you'll need to fulfill any kind of GA4 service for your clients and keep it profitable. Is that something you'd be interested in discovering? If so, you can learn more about the next cohort of our GA4 Agency Blueprint program at ddu.ai slash GA4 Agency.